I'm gonna <clears throat> mess around my Maxi scope today with my uh, 94 Integra. Uh, I'm gonna check the oxygen sensor. Uh, see what's going on with that. There's no code or anything. I'm just fooling around with it. Um, of course, when you hook your oscilloscope up, you want to um, start. Once you uh, get everything hooked up, I got you got your channel hooked up. You got your USB cable. You want to push the start button. So it'll link up with it. <clears throat> and of course your channel is automatically going to come up. So I got on channel A. That's active. I have it. Have a sensor disconnected. And uh, I got it hooked up on the, uh, the heater. So I was checking for a 12 volt source. Of course I got 12 volts here. I'm going to hook it up to the uh, other side of uh, 12 volts with the, uh, the computer side. So it'll, I'm going to start up and let it, let it warm up and uh, just take a look at the uh, pulse width modulation <laughs> see what's going on with that and when it warms up I'm going to hook it up into the signal wire and check and see how the oxygen sensor is uh, interpreting information and uh, add fuel see if it responds to it and go from there so uh, just started it up Voltage did drop from 12 to 0. Um, let's see if I can turn this. So I got it on 20 microseconds. I'm going to play around with it. See if I see anything. I'm going to let the, uh, I'm gonna let the car warm up and um, take another look at it. And I'm going to go to the uh, signal portion of it so I can see the reading of oxygen sensor when it goes in the closed loop. But while, while that's warming up, I'm going to show you uh, it's how this sensor is typically made. It's a four wire sensor down at the bottom of the Integra here. It's an OBD1 system. You, the two wires that are alike are always going to be your heater wires. You're going to have a 12 volt, and you're going to have the one going to the uh, computer system that's going to, that's going to regulate the temperature. You're going to have a ground and a signal wire, the two the two other wires. So the sensor is going to be grounded through another source. I don't have the wire schematic. I have to pull up a hand mail out there because I'm not going to go on go on identifix. Um, so you're going to have a, a ground signal and a a, 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 a reference wire. The reference wire is what I'm going to be hooked up to when I start checking it, but I'm on the uh, signal wire for the uh, heater at the moment. So I'm going to let this warm up uh -oh. and uh, show you a signal, show you what's going on shortly with the heating system. Right. <clears throat> so I got the um, time base change. Uh, to 200 microseconds and I got it down to one volt here and I, I guess you can see the computer uh, engaging disengaging well pulse with modulating this, the circuit and I did the um, truck I got sitting outside a little while ago and it's been around the same um, I guess that spike I'm just assuming it's my conjecture but you know, put in the comments if I'm wrong or not but I guess that's the circuit inside of the computer disconnecting or disengaging and engaging I'm assuming that's what it is but hell if I'm wrong so let me know man so the heat the arc sensor will be heated up thoroughly right now I'm gonna change over to the um, other portion of it which is the signal I got my uh, this is this is old man I don't know if this is uh, let me see. I pulled a wiring diagram. But this is for a legend, but I, I it has the same a similar wiring. I'm gonna hop up in there and check. But uh I'm gonna have to look back and run around. I'm gonna have to look back at the older model. This is not the right year, but uh I do have another integral outside Turbo that has like a similar circuit. I'm gonna check the wiring and I'm gonna go I'm gonna pull it up, but let me run out here and 
I'm gonna run this car and flip everything over. Alright. <clears throat> yeah. I got the uh, signal wire hooked up. Found the wiring diagram. This is the older model, but they're still the same. Where's that joker at? Here we go, right here at the bottom. So, focus, focus. Come on in. Golly. I can get the from the focus. So I'm on the um, white wire. I ain't gonna focus on that. I got more on the white wire right now. Uh, but that's the signal wire going to PPL. I got oscillation. What I'm gonna do is, oh, I'm sorry. I wound up changing my scale. I got it on uh, 10 microseconds. I got it on one boat. I'm going to add fuel source and see it change if it stays rich. So it should go rich, stay rich. I yeah, that car. Hold on, let me try it again. I'm gonna have to pull a backing line and do it. Let's see. There we go. If I square a little bit in there. Stand up. Oscillating. I'm gonna um let me see if I pull the PCD valve will it stay? Will it go lean and stay lean? Which it is. I'm gonna reconnect it. Just start oscillating again, which it is. I'm gonna spray a fuel source once it start oscillating. I'm gonna spray a fuel source in there. That's normal. Will it stay okay? Rip it up. So I'm sure I had to add fuel because of that instance. So it's back oscillating again. Now I'm going to spray the fuel source in there and it should stay up to one boat almost, indicating that it's rich. I'm adding it. It's staying up about one boat. So yeah, this is a good sensor here. Whoop. Get the off on me. Add more fuel. It's staying rich. So this is a good working oxygen sensor. I thought it was bad. I thought it was bad at first. Um but if you um if you ever decide to Take your oscilloscope, check something like this, like you got a, this is OBD-1 vehicle, see if you got some type of oscillation. Let me take this car off. My little misfire I had. That was a faint misfire I had on it and put new wire and stuff on it. But, um, so yeah, if you ever get an OBD-1 system like this, you know, you don't, you don't have the proper equipment to check the the system like looking I, I never had like an OBD I don't know, I've got some connectors to go in there with my MS uh, 906BT but I don't I don't I haven't even played with them yet I don't OBD1 usually is pretty cut and dry if you got something going on and a lot of people don't even have them cars anymore but but uh, if you ever if you need some technology I'm pretty sure to still work as well with a single wire sensor um, I don't have a single wire sensor, but if I ever get something, I'll definitely try to hook the scope up to it and see if it'll if, it, it, uh, if it'll help with uh, diagnosing any type of running conditions. I doubt it, but um, yeah, this is uh, me playing with the max scope on the uh, 94 Integra here. Um, 
hell, if you have any comments, you know, anything, just throw them in the comments. Uh, hopefully, I'll have something in the future with like diagnosing with it, and, uh, more in depth videos. So, I'm still learning. Peace.